Generic greetings and welcome to Bomb Squad Academy. This is a puzzle game about defusing bombs. You will have to look at a circuit board, figure out how it's wired up and work out a way to defuse the bomb or make sure the timer doesn't go off, things like that. So you'll check out different gates, flick switches, cut wires and so on. And if you get it right, then you win and go to the next level. If you fail, then there's a big flash and a bang and, um, well, in, in, in the game you restart in real life. Well, maybe not so much. Either way, I've actually completed the game. So it's something that I'm fairly familiar with and I'm going to show you a little bit of it. So let's just crack straight into it. But for, actually, no. Two things. Firstly, I like the way at the bottom it says that Bomb Squad Academy is not a real university. However, it is a game. There's oversimplifications. Like the sort of disclaimer that it's like, uh, look, if you're a real bomb technician, don't take this as training. As if someone would. Uh, and secondly, the um, the wire clips through the circuit board on the background, which really, really annoys me somewhat. Anyway, we've got a level select. As I said, I've completed the game, so I can select whatever level I want. So I'm just going to go to, say, I don't know, mid midway through. So we'll go to one or two, and then we'll load it up. Up. So what we have is a, a bomb, in this case it's like three sticks of dynamite or something like that, and we have a battery that powers circuits, you can see there's some dotted lines that will go along the circuit and that will indicate power okay and we've also got a timer as you can see which is currently counting down and depending on what time you have there'll be a certain number of triggers or there'll be a certain number of inputs in this case we've got a power input here if you can turn that power off then guess what you've won the level because it's not going to count down and uh, once it gets to zero by the way it does blow up uh, this one does also have a detonate so if that ever gets uh, lit up it will actually just blow the thing up in this case we need to disarm it by making sure a b and c are connected so what we'll do is follow this round and i'll make sure that the detonate is not going to activate so we'll flick that to off and then flick that to on which goes around to here flick that on we've now got c this one is already lit up so we'll flick that on and then we've got b and then this one will go to uh on and on and we've won with eight seconds remaining well hey there you go i flipped all of the switches so that is a, a very 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 simple one we'll go to the next level and see what this brings up so this one is well it looks a little bit more confusing but not so much what i tend to do is follow the bomb back over so make sure that that one is off for a start because that is the one that will blow the bomb up and we do not want that and follow that round it'll go this way so if we flick that on it'll power up to there but we've already switched that one off excellent this one will go on and then on to there that'll do that one then this one will follow back to there and that's fine this one will go and put that one uh, that one on but we need that one on that one on job done so flicking switch is quite easy okay next level let's see what this one has ah this has got some wires ah this is actually a training one here so what it's allowing us to do is cut some wires so if I cut that one you can see that light comes off you cut these wires and job done. I like the way it dy uh, dynamically sort of cuts them in the area you click. That's pretty good. Uh, anyway, so this is going to be another level where it's about um, switching the wires. So same thing, A and B, this one actually to disarm, not A, B and C this time. So we have to make sure that the detonate doesn't go off. If I activate this one here, what will happen is current will flow through here, but it'll also flow through this wire onto this rail and then bang, it will detonate. In fact, I'll show you that now. Yeah, so we died. You killed yourself. Oh, okay, at least we can try again. So, simple one this, click that wire, and then on, on. There you go. Okay, you get the idea. It's fairly simple. What I'll do is I will uh, I will not bother with these wires because I'm just, I'm just going to go to uh, main menu. And I'm going to go on to later levels with slightly more um, difficult components. So we'll go for, say, uh, which one we've got. We've got, um, that's a basic electronics. We've got logic gates. We've got uh, the combatorial ones, uh, capacitors. We'll go for sort of a mid-level one, say, here. 402, this one. So choose your path. So... We've got some AND gates here, and what AND gates mean is essentially if you've both got positive inputs, then they will uh, it will output OK, otherwise it will not. So this one here, you can see this line going to the A, that only has one input, so we need to activate both. So we flick that switch, this is a new, uh, new component, and we turn that on, it will then activate both of those. Excellent. And then what we can do is probably quickly switch that down, and then it gets... Uh, no, we can't, because it's only going to do one. So how are we going to get both? How do we get both? Well, it's probably... Ah, oh, actually, I think I might be able to turn the power off. Flick to that and turn the power off. Yeah, there you go. That's the way you do that one. <laughs> you just turn the power off to the bomb. <laughs> Fair enough, let's go to the next one. Oh no, a bomb. Right, okay, so two minutes we've got. Um, we can't turn the power off because as you can see, the battery, which is supplying the power, goes to there. Now, batteries, by the way, don't run out. I should have pointed that out earlier. You do get capacitors, which are very similar, but they only store a certain charge and then they will drain. 
Okay, so this battery here is going along. If I activate that one, it will put an input into this and, and we are trying to get A, so that's fine. To get the second input, we need to follow the red wire which goes down to here. If I flick that, we should then get A, that's fine, but we're not getting B, and that doesn't really matter because uh, to get B, we can follow this down and we can go on that switch. Now, if I put it to there, then there'll be no current, so it definitely has to be this one. Follow the yellow wire which is down to here. And if I flick that down, we should then get B, which is fine. So we'll follow C, which goes along here to there. That one's not going to work because we know we're not going to flick it onto that. So we'll put it downwards and then into this one. Now, this is slightly problematic because what you can see here is several mounts. And if we have the power coming down and it goes into this and if I flick that switch, it will uh, it will basically liven up this rail here and all of this surface mount and it will put both of them as ands, go through here, flow through this and bang into there. So we need to switch it over for sure. So when we switch that on it will then ignite these, um, I say ignite, it will liven up these and then that one will become live but then it won't go through. However it will flow along here into that green wire and then round to there and then flow back. So we need to cut that green wire there and then that should be us. There you go, job done. Congrats, you saved all of the children. Excellent. So here's the final one, which is, ooh, a lot of wires. Okay, this is where it starts to get a little bit more confusing. So, can't turn the power off. That's the first thing you should always check. And then let's work back over from A, which works along here. Um, so if I act, if I switch that up, it's going to make this go on, like so. And But we could activate that one to split it. So we get a split there. That is fine. However... Is there another option? Mm. That's fine. That's okay. In order to get this one and this one on, we will need to make sure that both of those rails are on. But the problem is we don't want to... Oh, no, 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 no. We're not trying to make that one go on because that is the detonate. We just need this one, which will be that way, that way, that way. And... That's got B, but it's not got C because it turns off the C rail. So, mm, this is where it gets a little bit difficult. So I need to make sure that this AND is never turned on. If I switch this over now, it will blow the bomb up. Look, told you. See, at least I worked it out correctly. I knew it was, I knew it was gonna fail. So. Another way of going around this, let's go back to our position one. So it was that and, uh, no, it wasn't, it was that, that, and that, which splits it into both of these, and then there's A, and then this one's going to go on. I think that's the only way. You can see there's little stars here, but why is there a star there to split the current? Maybe that one and that one. So it's going to have to be that, is it? Okay, maybe I should have thought about that one a little bit before just flicking all of the switches. Okay, so back up to this one, split the current, uh, split the current, there's the current split. Right, that's done. That turns that off, yes, that turns that one on, excellent. Okay, in order to get B, we'll follow this back, we need that one on. In order to get that one live, we'll have to get the current that way, which is, there's only really one option. It's up that way. But then, actually, if I, if I flick that, will it blow up? Mm. No, it shouldn't. So we've definitely got A and B. In order to get C, the only way to get C, we'll follow this back, is... along that route. So we can get C and... We, actually, we, if we do that, I'll get C and B now, but only one of the other. Okay. I think this is an issue with I think you need to lie I think you need to have that one live I think this needs to be both live I think it has to be that one there I think it has to be that so yeah it's up up and there's them on so they're definitely on in order to get C on we then need to if I flick that up it's gonna liven up this and this which will then blow the bomb up but then technically C will be on as well which is gonna go first Neither, because I was wrong about my calculations anyway. Oh, of course, because it's, it's, it's making this live. Hmm. What is the solution? It is, after, after all, a puzzle game. We have to think about these things. So it's going to come along. That's fine. This one is down to there. 
when in doubt, you start flicking switches. No, don't. I wouldn't recommend that. Certainly if you're defusing bombs. Anyway, uh, that's got a solution. I've obviously done it at some point, but for the sake of getting on with things and showing you some more components, I'm going... I'm going to go back to main menu and show you a little bit more. Like I said, I've actually completed them all, which is why I can get right to the end. The end one, by the way, is quite difficult. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, we've got the Zor, the Zor, XOR gate, call it the Zor gate, and it is quite a good gate, actually. We'll have a click on that one. So I'll pay close attention. So, the Zor gate will, if you've got one input, it will output okay. If you've got no inputs, it'll be nothing. Why the hell did it blow up? Oh, it's because I um I, I didn't power this capacitor up, which was uh right, which was keeping that Zor gate on there. Uh, and the way Zor gates work is if you've only got one input, it will go on. If you've got two inputs, it's off, which is when that capacitor <laughs> runs out, it then blew that one up. Oh, well, uh, I didn't want that. So what I'll do is I'll just turn that on, and that'll power up all of the capacitors like so. Um, In order to turn... Well, what we need to do is... Oh, it should be quite easy, this one, actually. You can see all of the power flowing, so power's definitely on, can't turn it off. This wire is going to the AND gate, we need to make sure that's not cut. If we cut that, then it's pointless, because we need to get air. This one goes into the Zor gate, we can't turn that off. This one goes along into this uh, capacitor and then flows that way to there. So we need to make sure that one is turned off, which is good because the capacitor will drain faster than these ones. And if I switch that off, that capacitor will run down. One, two three and then turn A on and B on. There you go. Yeah, that's quite simple. You could have even turned this one off as well and done the same thing, I think, and you would have got a similar sort of solution. Uh, this one is, again, more of the same. Let's go back to main menu and I'll show you probably one more type of thing. So we've had different logic gates. We've shown wires. We've got uh, combinations, we've got capacitors, Zor gates, uh, we've got pulse generation, these are like little, they're essentially like pulses, so you can see they're going to pulse every now and again, and um, th sometimes they will drive a clock, so every pulse it will then tick the clock over, which can be quite difficult. Uh, in this case, it is simply a case of turning it off to then holding that, and you can see it's actually flashing A. This one, we need to flick it over to that one, turn it on, and then that will flick, you can see this is an AND gate, so that one is all was on but every other well every tick essentially it's a uh, flashing base so I just need to hold that and then bing diffused excellent let's go over to next level and what has this got here's a variation of the previous bomb get ready okay so this has got a different clock on this one so we will uh, oh this is problematic if I turn that on it will just it'll blow the bomb up yeah thought it would okay at least you can test these. Um, so, <laughs> so we know that clicking that button will kill us, so we don't really want to do that. In fact, we can do it by this way. Turn that switch on, that will put both of these, uh, this will put uh, both inputs to the Zor gate, which will turn it off. Flick that over to there, hold that button, and then it won't work. And now it's alternating flashing, as you can see. And the only way to fix it is to get dual inputs on this at the same time. So it should be turn that one on. Ah. Oh. It'll be turn that one off. Or on rather. When I hold that while that'll flow through to there. This will flow through and yeah, hold it on a bit more because you get like a bit of a loop. There we go. Excellent. So you get the idea of what you're gonna be doing on here. Let's go to let's go to one more. We'll go to main menu, see if we can get a bit more difficult one. Um over to say which one was that one? That was uh, we haven't got we haven't I haven't done timers. Let's have a quick look at, at a timer. Uh, we'll go for say a simple timer here. Okay, are you ready? Probably not. Oh, so this looks fairly complicated and hang on, is that gonna count down and blow me up? Um Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, that's, um, this, this hasn't got much of a, this hasn't got much of a timer for me to uh, explain what's going on. I, I can't explain the whole thing in 40 seconds. Let's go for that one, which is a little bit easier. So, you can see that the timer will have a power. There you go. And if it's powered up, then it's very similar to the, to the uh, other countdowns we've seen previously. If you can cut the power, then job done. However, the best thing you can do is uh, cut the clock so it doesn't count down any further. You can see this one doesn't have a, a bomb timer on the right. It, it is same sort of circuit. You've got a power and you've got this. But essentially, if that, then ever, if that ever gets power, then it'll feed back into there and blow the bomb. All right. So, we need to stop this time. I'm not going to do it now because I've been talking too much, but we need to work it back. So, this one here, if both of these are on, if 
both of these are on, then it will light up that and go bang. So in order to turn this off, we could probably work on these AND gates. So uh, that one on and that one on, and that should do it actually. We can't actually alter the clock. You can see there's no way to alter the clock, but as soon as that comes, as soon as this activates, because it'll activate in less than five seconds now, that'll hit there, but because we've already turned this one off, it's not, it's an AND gate, won't work, job done. And there you go. And that's your timer. But as I said, you can work it on so you make sure that the clock ain't counting down or anything like that. Which is something you will do over the... How many levels, actually? I don't know how many levels there are. Several, I think. Um, yeah, there's that. Well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stages by the look of it. And each one contains about... Oh, it's five minimum by the look of it. So there's several levels here. Either way, that is just a little bit of Bomb Squad Academy. Obviously, I should have uh, sort of mentioned spoiler warning at the start because I've explained some of the levels. Uh, they do tend to be fairly... I, th I think I think they're all one-dimensional in the fact that there's, there's one solution. I don't know if there's multiple solutions for each one. For the majority of them, I don't think that is the case. Um, I don't really have any criticisms over it. It's not overly difficult. It's an interesting concept. However, most people may find it a bit short. I'm not saying that as a criticism, nor as anything to knock it, but understand that I completed this game, and bear in mind I am an idiot and terrible at puzzle games, I completed this game in 55 minutes. I did all of the puzzles in 55 minutes. So it's really down to yourself whether or not you think it's going to be worth your time versus the cost you're going to pay, things like that. Um, I don't really comment on that. That's completely up to you how you spend your money. However, it's also going to depend on just how good or bad you are at puzzle games. I can sort of understand the circuits quite well. That's fine. And that's one of the things I really like the idea of the electronic side of it. Even though it's an oversimplification of things, it's still interesting. It's actually one of the things that um, I remember Introversion were talking about when they were on about a prototype called Wrongwire, where they would uh, measure voltages and things like that and um, different capacitance across certain... Um, certain components. This obviously isn't that in depth, it's more about just the flow of um, things, but it's very readable, so you know, it's it's got a nice balance there. Either way, links are in the description so you can check it out yourself. I know the plan, is what he's posted um, just recently, is that uh, you're going to continue adding uh, some more levels or continue developing the game. So the plan is more levels, eventually perhaps uh, some uh, board editor so people can make their own levels. Hopefully we'll see that on Steam Workshop. Maybe even perhaps some, uh, well there's different components working on as well as um, maybe even a dynamically generation, a d dynamic generation system to make randomly generated levels so that would be quite good as well but that's that's like something in the future if it even happens i just wanted to mention it links in the description you can check it out yourself as always hope you enjoyed the video thanks very much for watching take care and don't cut the wrong wire